Welcome biologists. Today we are looking at 6.3.1 ecosystems taken from OCR A-level biology specification A. Looking at lesson objective C, recycling within ecosystems. There are two cycles we need to know about here, nitrogen cycle and also the carbon cycle. So the nitrogen cycle, we, the, we have a large uh, percentage of nitrogen with gas within the air. This can be fixed into ammonia by two ways, through nitrogen fixing in the lightning or the harbour process, or nitrogen fixation by bacteria. And there are two bacteria here we need to know. By rhizobium, which are in the root nodules of some plants like peas, or free living nitrogen fixing bacteria within the soil, such as azobacter. Um, these all convert nitrogen into ammonia, and ammonia is then trans uh, is then made into um, nitrites by nitrosomonas, and nitrites are then made into nitrates by nitrobacter, which is a nitrifying bacteria, and nitrite nitrates uh, can then be absorbed by the plants to make its own protein. Because don't forget, amino acids have that nitrogenous base within them. If you need to go back and recap. Now animals get their plant protein from so animals get their protein from plants by eating them and the nitrogen within animal and plants can return back to the soil back to ammonia by death and decomposition by by uh, saprobionts such as the fungi or some bacteria. So we're going to do a little bit on each one of these. I have got a slide here where if you want to, you can have a go at filling out the plants because you do need to know the names of the bacteria involved in the different process. You also need to know the formulas for nitrates and nitrites and ammonia. Um, and you just need to know the layout of this, like filling out blanks in an exam as well. So here are the answers if you've had a go at that. Oh, sorry, if you've had a go at that one. Um, so saprobionts, uh, these are, for example, fungi and bacteria. Uh, they secrete enzymes onto their food, which hydrolyze into polymers, uh, um, and these monomers can then be reabsorbed. There are some stretch and challenge questions here on a number of these slides. If you do wish to have a go, please do. We have nitrogen fixing. This is done by lightning and the harbour process, and also some bacteria, which is coming up. So um, the harbour process is come. I'm sorry, my arrows have slipped there. You've got nitrogen and hydrogen. Uh, are fused together to make ammonia, normally used to make things like fertilizers, and the lightning, uh, just like lightning and thunder, lightning also fixes naturally nitrogen in the air. We have rhizobium, which are mutualistic nitrogen living bacteria in the root, root nodules of some leguminous plants, such as peas, and they just help to fix nitrogen uh, in the atmosphere into ammonia. We have azo astobacter. And these are free living nitrogen fixing bacteria in the soil, which convert nitrogen into, in the air to ammonia. We have nitrosomonas, and these are nitrifying bacteria which change ammonia into nitrites. So you need to know these formulas, you need to know the chemical breakdown of each one of these. Nitrobacter, and this is nitrites into nitrates. Don't forget, nitrates is the only way in which plants can take up the um, nitrogen from the soil. So that's the nitrogen cycle. We'll quickly go over the carbon cycle. So here it is blank if you do want to have a go at, at pausing it and filling in the blanks. Uh, so we have obviously plants uh, take carbon outside out of the air through uh, photosynthesis and yes some plants do undergo, most plants undergo respiration as well so it can be released back in to the air through respiration. Obviously animals release a lot of carbon outside into the air through respiration um, <clears throat> and also carbon in plants can be passed on to animals through feeding. Now the, the carbon found in plants and animals can be transferred back into the soil through death and decomposition by decomposers. But also decomposers release carbon dioxide back into the air through respiration. Uh, and this is a big one that releases a lot of carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, which is the burning of fossil fuels, which is obviously made from the composition uh, and the compressing of plants and animals over time as well. And that's released through combustion. So obviously we know that... Um, the link between carbon dioxide increase and also the temperature increase and the global warming. So just a couple of points to think about there if you do want to research that any further. So that's that lesson objective done for today. For, don't forget in your exam, don't use the words amount, it, they or size and good luck with your exams guys. Please make sure you're including enough keywords and be specific in your answers. Good luck.